It's time to get spooky with our next guest. Please welcome back to the show, Tig Notaro. <laughs> Hi, Tig. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Are you a horror person? No. Shit. You don't like scary movies? I don't like them, no. Should I go home? What are your feelings on Alfred Kinsey? Pretty good. You know about the Kinsey scale? Mm-hmm. I'm on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. You look like you might be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say even more so than I am. You think? Yeah, yeah, that outfit says that, you know. Well, aren't we all on it in a sense? Yeah, but you... More on it. Yeah. It's your sweet spot. You know what would have been better than Taylor Swift stepping on a, a weight scale? How cool would it be if she had finally stepped on a Kinsey scale? But then we didn't get to see where it landed. And all the people on TikTok that think Taylor Swift is secretly gay and sending the messages through the mail uh, would be like, ah. That, you know? You preface that with, you know, it would be funny. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Tig Notaro. <laughs> I forgot how much I love you, to be honest. Really? Yes. And I shouldn't ever forget that. But also... <laughs> Why do people think she's gay? Oh, please. There's such, a, such an obvious, uh, if you go- Even though she wrote that song about Tim McGraw? What? There's a kind of, um, a kind of QAnon-like phenomenon of people combing through the lyrics and finding patterns uh, and circling words and letters. And mm. like, so for example, if you go through all of her catalog, uh, the words L, G, B, and T actually appear pretty frequently in a lot of the songs. And people point to that and say, well, that's, a, that's one example. Also, she was friends with a hot woman and people assume that they kissed a lot. Um, that's really important to it. And by the way, I'm in on it, by the way. I'm, I'm pretending because I try to seem like normal, but yeah. I'm one of these people that <laughs> thinks that there's secret messages in the lyrics, 100%. I'm not even joking. And one thing that I think is fun about the branding is if you think Taylor Swift might be queer, you're a gayler. But if you think she's not, you're a hetler. <laughs> Tough, right? Good branding. You want to be a hetler? It's one letter off. From what? <laughs> now it's time for a game... We call Gay as Hell, Queer as Hellraiser. We're going to rank horror movie monsters on the Kinsey scale. All right, are you ready? I am. All right. Just as a reminder for those Hold who Hold on a second. <laughs> now I'm ready. For those of us who haven't taken a gender studies class since 2002, the Kinsey scale runs from zero to six, with zero being exclusively heterosexual and six being exclusively homosexual. Kinsey also added X to denote asexual people, and we want to shout out our ace icons, the Cloverfield Monster and Jean Jacket from Jordan Peele's Nope. Then let us begin. Okay. The Wolfman. That's the 1960s Wolfman. This little tiny head. Yeah. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I remember him. <laughs> You know what's weird is when you asked me if I liked horror, I don't. <laughs> My first job when I moved to Los Angeles, I worked for Sam Raimi, the director. Oh. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> he does horror films. He did, did he like make Spider Man? Evil, but he also he did Evil Dead oh. and Dark Man. Oh, so you've seen some of these films. No. Nope. You haven't seen any of them. No. I just answered the phone and did a Poor job assisting. I can see that. Yeah. Do you think he's gay or not? It's time to answer. <laughs> hey, do you think this wolf head is gay or not? <laughs> Judge this wolf man by, his by the cover of the book uh, of the wolf man's face. I think he's pretty gay. I think... You don't? Mm, <laughs> I started to think he was very hetero, but then I saw the hairstyle. Yeah. What if we get this wrong? The stakes are pretty high. Yeah, you got to yeah. get it right. If you get it wrong, it sucks. It's, it's pig dog. So I'm going to say pig dog <laughs> is... You got to pick something. <laughs> this is like one of those menus where there's too many options. It's six options, famously. <laughs> he could be asexual. You can give him an X. X. 
Wow. The wolfman's in the alley with a thing of flowers. You just threw them in the garbage. <laughs> Did you hear the three claps I got, though? That's what we do it for, huh? Yeah. This. Next up, we have Nosferatu. The vampire, he was uh, once... Uh, X. Uh, <laughs> that one was easy. That's another yeah. X. All right, up next, Frankenstein's monster. Mm, I mean... Zero. Wow, exclusively heterosexual. Exclusively yeah. heterosexual. Now, that raises an interesting question. What about Frankenstein's monster's bride? Because... Mm, I see, I think because she was married to... Wait, did I say hetero? I did. You did. All right. I meant to say hetero, and I would say that she is... What do you think? Is this all up to me? I can help. I was sort of hoping you would express an opinion that I would express an opinion, but you kind of just stare at the screen for a while. <laughs> and so I'm sort of <laughs> caught off guard because I don't want to seem too abrasive. You and think kind of... you're caught off guard. <laughs> I left my family tonight and came down to this theater and am rating movie monsters on the Kinsey scale. You think I'm yeah. not a little caught off guard? We send the ideas in advance, right? I we, we tell them. don't read my emails. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, and I, so I am very <laughs> caught off guard. Well, I guess what I would say is, what do you need right now to feel supported? <laughs> If you want more of me, less of me, what like I'm here for you as a I, host. I you tell always me what we'll want get. more of you. Uh, um, I'm gonna put this woman's head. <laughs> I think that she has a genuine love for Frankenstein, but I think that she could also fall in love with a lot of different kinds of monsters. So I'm gonna say two. I think she's uh, I think she's mostly heterosexual, but more than slightly homosexual. What do you think? Sure. I can't imagine choosing to fight over that. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm 51 and a half, but it's like a choose your battles type thing. What do you want to fight with me about? I if just we're choosing... love you. Oh, you do? I do. do I you think actually you're like hilarious. Me? I think you're adorable. Um, I think you're so smart. I just love you. But I want to wrestle you. Where are you on the scale? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Don't You don't have to answer that. It's not a real scale. We're only rating monsters. I'll let you know when my head appears. <laughs> Next up, we have Freddy Krueger. Mm. Freddy Krueger. I know her. I feel like that is zero. Zero. Yeah, sort of incel energy. Somebody sounded like they fell off a cliff back there. They're so upset. Oh, I really came here to hear Freddy Krueger... Rank like, elsewhere. Yeah. I didn't come all the way to Koreatown to, to find out Freddy Krueger doesn't like guys. <laughs> Pinhead from the original Hellraiser. Never seen the guy. Really scary. Mm, I would prefer if he walked in over Pig Dog. Right. If Pig Dog was loose in my house. I think Hellraiser is by. So we're going to put Hellraiser at three, but now we have the pinhead from the 2022 Hellraiser, what conservatives believe is woke Hellraiser, because it's now a, a, it's a, it's a lady. Or a, it's just not a guy. It might be a non-binary Hellraiser. The point is, conservatives are upset. They're saying, ah, oh, everyone knows that Hellraiser's a man. I can't. Everyone knows Hellraiser is not in Blue Man Group. Do <laughs> you ever see the movie Splice? No. Is it a horror film? Yeah, it reminds me of that. Well, should we move on? <laughs> this Hellraiser is gay. Six on the scale. Six on the scale. I feel like you're not even checking with me anymore. <laughs> You and I have had these conversations. Yeah. When I try to make space for you, you say that I'm not supporting you, I'm not, I'm not showing up, I'm not participating. When then, and then when I do participate, you say that I'm doing it wrong. We've never met. <laughs> well, at least you're not bozo. That's Pennywise from It. <laughs> <laughs> so we email you and say, hey, 
we have this great idea for a Halloween segment. We're going to rate horror movies. And you say, great, what time should I be there? And at no point do you ever respond and say, I've never seen a horror movie in my entire fucking life. The most classic and iconic characters in the history of horror. Every single damn one. And you don't know who any of these people are. Tim Curry, Pennywise, he's a fucking four. Now let's go to the, the Skarsgård one. Yes. Skarsgård's a five. What are we just plowing through with no thought? Do you even like me? I love you. I fucking love you. I'm such a fan of yours. That's I'm over what here. That's I'm what makes here. this. That's what I'm makes. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here. You're supposed to talk to your partner. You're supposed to make eye contact. What about slash? Slash. That's. That's the fucking Babadook. That is the Babadook. Okay, and we know. Zero. No, it's widely known that the Babadook is a gay icon. It's widely known. So am I. It says, thank you so much, Tig. Plug. Is there a plug you want to do? Well, I have a podcast called Don't Ask Tig, uh, and I also have a podcast called Tig and Cheryl True Story. I also wrote a book called I'm Just a Person. I have several stand-up specials. Um, I yeah, A plug. <laughs> Is there anything, like, one thing that's newish that you want to just one of them? Uh, I did Premium Blend on Comedy Central um, <laughs> 24 years ago. Wow, that's cool. Thank you so much. Tignatar, everybody. This is a blast. It's